drilling into brick can be a bit tricky, but with the right tools and techniques, it can be done with relative ease. Whether you're hanging a picture, installing a new mailbox, or performing another type of home improvement project. Drilling into brick requires some special considerations. In this video, we will go over the steps and tools you'll need to successfully drill into brick, including the types of drill bits to use, the appropriate drill speed and power, and safety precautions to keep in mind. I am Sam, a drilling expert from Drilling Nerd. If you're new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my future videos. Let's get started. Step 1. Marking the wall. Once a hole has been drilled, especially in a brick, nothing can be done about it. Therefore, the first and the most important step to drill into brick is that you mark the exact spots where you want the holes to be. If you want to drill holes for hanging the paintings or frames, you will have to use a bubble leveler or scale to keep the holes aligned with one another. Step 2. Setting up the drill. The next step is to set up the drill. Make sure that you go through the user manual and set up the drill properly. Using a hammer drill is highly recommended. But if you are not using a hammer drill, you can make use of masking tape. Step 3. Put on protective gear. Do not compromise on safety when drilling a hole through a brick or mortar. Make use of goggles so that your eyes remain safe and no particles can get into your eyes. A drill can be extremely noisy therefore, you can use hearing protective gear to make sure that your ears remain comfortable while drilling into brick. Moreover, it is important to note that the dust released during drilling contains particles of crystalline silica. Therefore, make use of an N95 respirator so that you do not inhale these particles. Wearing gloves is also recommended as it will keep your hands clean and prevent bruising or the risk of injuries. Step 4. Positioning the drill and drilling the hole. After inserting the drill bit into the hammer drill and installing it correctly, turn the drill on and start drilling at the lowest speed possible. You might experience a bit of a jerk when you first switch the drill on therefore, Hold the drill with both hands to ensure that it remains in place. When aligning the drill against the wall, make sure that it is placed in an exact perpendicular position against the wall. Next, drill into the wall to the required depth and stop the drill once the depth is reached. Step 5. Drill using the masonry bit. Now that the initial hole has been drilled, you can switch the hammer drills bit with the masonry bit and start drilling into the hole again. This will help you reach the desired depth of the hole. Step 6. Clean the hole. After drilling the hole, now you should clean it to get rid of the dust particles. Use a can of compressed air to clean the hole. Step 7. Install the wall anchor. You need wall anchors to be able to support the weight of the hanging. Once the hole is drilled, you can install the wall anchors or screws that will hold the wall hanging or the mount. Step 8. Clean the surface. With this, the process of drilling a hole into brick is now completed. But you will notice that there will be a lot of dust and debris around the work surface. Now you can use the mop, broom, and dustpan to clean the work surface. After cleaning the surface, remove and dispose of the safety gear. It is recommended that you take a shower immediately so that the small dust particles that may be on your body can be cleaned. 